invasion. Infantry, artillery, tanks, commandos, everybody, all in their pitching, winning their ground against heavy odds. Well, there's another soldier in there, too, just as much in the struggle as anyone else, getting wounded, killed, taking his share of the tough going. It's your military policeman, the MP. He's a combat soldier, too, you know. But he not only fights, he has other jobs for which he's been especially trained. Directing traffic along roads and highways. Keeping things in order behind the lines. Handling prisoners of war. Guarding supplies and supply lines. Patrolling captured towns. Yes, he has his hands full. Too full sometimes. Often there just aren't enough MPs for all these duties. So, in the combat areas, or here in the zone of the interior, your commander may be directed to supply men from his organization when additional MPs are needed. Which means you may find yourself on MP duty at any time. That's why we're going to show you how the MP does his work, so you'll know how to go about the job if you're called upon to do it. Now, let's say you're given the job of town patrolling. All right, we'll start where town patrolling begins, headquarters. An MP detachment is usually headquartered in the local police station or one of its precincts. That's understandable. On many occasions, you'll be working in close cooperation with the civilian police. So the nearer you are to them, the better. Inside, the setup is fairly simple. The desk sergeant is the man in charge here. His job is booking any soldier offenders brought in, answering all calls, dispatching any transportation or reserves required by patrols on duty, and generally making sure that everything at military police headquarters is run properly. responsible for the individual patrols is the patrol sergeant. He conducts inspections of his men at headquarters, gives any final instructions necessary before going out on the beach, sees that his men are posted properly, and acts as their supervisor while they're on duty. For you men going on town patrol for the first time, I've got a few words to say. First and most important, remember that primarily you're a soldier. Which means you can't correct a soldier for being sloppy if you're sloppy yourself. And of course, you're going to have to be neat and well dressed and on the ball at all times, whether on duty or not. Now, another important thing, and very important, don't carry a chip on your shoulder. If you think because you wear that gun and club at your side and that bizarre in your arm, that that entitles you to be a tough guy, you're wrong. Nobody likes a hard-boiled MP, especially us. Now, your most important job, of course, is to maintain order among the soldiers in town. But you have another job that's equally as important. That's to help. When a soldier's in trouble, help him. When he needs advice, give it to him. And if he's hurt or injured in any way, See that he gets proper first aid and medical treatment immediately. Don't forget, you're a GI too, you know. 
So treat him the way you'd expect to be treated yourself if you were in his spot. Now as to your work, in general your job is to prevent misconduct. You enforce the Articles of War, Army regulations, and all regulations which are posted from time to time. You know what they are. Keep your eyes open for AWO wells. Acts which are misdemeanors under civil laws. And any matter which might bring discredit to the uniform of the military service. Now check your guns and your clubs. You got your flashlights. Check your notebooks and pencils. Check yourself for neatness. Okay.